once you find your system head or system curve and you want to <coughs> intersect it with your pump you will find this beautiful intersection and what does that intersection mean? this means that this is going to be the operation point and what does that mean is essentially that you have a pump that will deliver this head and you have a system which needs that head so ring ring we have a winner so imagine you want to operate here but you don't have any pump here so even though you need this you have no models or no pumps that work there so no pump is going to deliver that actually you want to for example have a 60 you will need to or 60 you will need to operate higher volumetric flow rates that might be an option but probably not because most plants work in continuous state so increasing the volumetric flow rate will mean increasing the mass uh, let's say accumulation so the only thing you can do is find another pump that will deliver this point so what I'm telling you about is you want to operate this point right here you need to install an impeller or go and get another pump because the possibility of you going to work with this volumetric flow rate is not that common and one thing you might consider is also changing the volumetric flow rate in order to force it to operate with the pump and that's very common if you have only this pump let's say it's the only pump on earth well and you have your system head well you will have to force it for example 100 percent will give you 5.5 volumetric flow rate 60 percent closed or open will give you 3.8 cubic meters and 20% will give you only 3 volumetric flow hopefully it makes sense to you guys that as we increase friction we are going to deliver less volumetric flow rate with the same pump okay and for me it makes sense hopefully it makes sense to you and yep that's what I wanted to tell you on the operation points always try to force the operation point to the best convenient point this was a free preview. You want to get full access, go to my incompressible flow course. The link is in the description of the video. You will get all access. Not only that, you get a very straightforward, uh, user friendly interface. So, for instance, you were analyzing or studying pumps, you have it here the pump block. And then you have the sections. If you're, for example, studying the types of pumps, you can go here and you have all the classes right here. Not to mention that you also have introduction and conclusion of every one of these. So for instance, if you were studying positive displacement pumps, the video is right here. If you were studying positive displacement pumps in rotatory and reciprocal are also included here. Centrifugal pumps, which is a very important topic in this course, you have it right here.